Hey everyone, welcome back. It is uh, December 23rd, aka uh, Christmas Eve Eve. Um, uh, just to explain where I am right now, this is still the same recording session from like the 16th because I want to get like the rest of this game done because <laughs> I need to make way for um, something else that I'm working on. So I decided, hey, this weekend, uh, I don't work Saturday. I'm going to just dump my entire schedule into making this. I would be recording some Pokemon right now, but as it turns out, uh, I, I left it over at a friend's house, so I'm going to have to get that. <laughs> there, they announced the poor health of their leader, Masayoshi Shido. As such, the special diet session was postponed, along with Shido's inauguration as Prime Minister. Postponed? They should be firing him! And wait, poor health? This is completely different from what my sister told us! I heard he barely slept during the election campaign. I don't blame him. He's not going to step down now, is he? Will this country be fine without Shido? How can people still believe in him? What the heck? The Phantom Thieves are being treated like, well, like they never existed. Goodness. No link among the change of heart incidents. Only coincidental psychiatric disorders. The Phantom Thieves only use those rumors to their advantage. This is preposterous. Who would believe such things? But the person saying this is a famous researcher. And even the Ministry is saying that's how they determined the situation, too. When's Shido gonna make a comeback? Honestly, I don't think anyone else but Shido can handle times like these. What's going on? No matter how you look at it, this isn't normal. It's as if the people in reality have become distorted. What's happening here worries me. But the only thing we can do right now is wait and see what happens. What do you mean I can't question him at this point? Mr. Shido is in an extremely unstable state. I can't allow you to get in contact with him. He may officially have to undergo a psychiatric evaluation at this rate. We are at the cusp of making a case. Do you know how much trouble we've gone through to get this far? I'm just doing my job as a doctor. Even if Shido was behind it, do you plan on convicting a central figure behind such a historical change? What? Don't be ridiculous. This is a country governed by law. You still want to protect him even though you know what happened to the man previously at your post. So, you plan on taking the head of the nation to court? You need to take a break, Nijima. I'm taking you off this case, especially since it's rumored you have ties to the Phantom Thieves. What? If I recall correctly, you still aren't married, are you? You'll be on leave for a long time. Why not look for a husband while you're at it? <laughs> okay, I got a button with that. What the heck, dude? <laughs> I was like, okay, what the heck do you- <laughs> I'm, I'm not usually one that like calls out that type of stuff, but like, what? <laughs> like maybe that's like a Japanese like proverb or something, but I don't know. Case is in danger? We know he doesn't need a psychiatric evaluation. His lackeys must have pressured the others around him. It means there's far more people who'd be in trouble if the truth came out than we imagined. Isn't there anything we can do? Sis said that the assembly for a case may be possible if the general public wants Shido accountable, but even that chance has been destroyed with the manipulation of the mass media. They made it clear that the argument itself was a cult, even claiming that it never happened. As a result, the Phantom Thieves are still labeled as criminals. Even after all that's happened. It's a storm of criticisms online, too. People are saying to catch the remnants and execute them. This is crazy. 
At any rate, let's wait for my sister. She should be arriving here soon. Everyone's being tricked so easily. Why the hell did we risk our lives then? If Shido isn't judged by the law, everything we've done will be treated as if it never happened. Moving the entire country however they wish by controlling people's cognition? This is no different than being inside a palace. I'm sorry. I gathered the best of the best and fought for a case. But as Makoto must have told you, it was denied. At this rate, it won't end with just Shido's innocence. This trend will continue spiraling down. There's even the possibility that crimes using the metaverse will advance onto a national scale. But that's not what I'm here to tell you. We're in danger because we know the truth. It's only a matter of time before we're apprehended. It wouldn't be odd if they were to charge in now. This makes no effing sense! Sis! There's nothing more I can do with my resources. That's why... I want to ask for your help. I wondered if there was any way you could do something one last time. I know that I'm in no position to ask this of you. That doesn't matter to us. So, what are we gonna do? Should we change the hearts of all Shido's followers? Even if Futaba were to research all of them, it'd take time. Yeah, and considering the size of the ship, how many types of people were on the ship, and everyone that we know who was connected to him, like, in the actual world. Yeah, that's gotta be a lot of names. And that's gonna be a lot of positions that a lot of thing to take down. Unfortunately, we are trudging into a swamp without any shoes on. There's too little information. We can only target individuals. Are we no match against the national power? Mementos. If we use Mementos, we might be able to do something. There's something we can do there? Wait, does Sodro still not... Can Sodro still not understand the cat? And does that mean can... Yeah, I was like... Morgana talks, everyone looks at it, including Sodro and Sai. And I'm trying to figure out if at some point they brought the two of them into... Uh, into the metaverse, just so they can hear him talk. No, because Sodru actually like makes a point to say that he doesn't actually understand him later. Do what? Never mind. I'm looking too too much into a slight head movement. Like I told you before, Mementos is the palace of the general public. It's the source of all distortions, and is maintained by the people's collective unconsciousness. Wait, do you mean that there's a treasure even in Mementos? And if we go after that? The collapse of mementos should affect the public as a whole. The state of society would change too. If everyone's hearts grow to hold Shido responsible for his actions, things might start going our way. Hmm. That's a bold plan, but an interesting one. Sounds good to me. But if we're gonna do this, there's one thing you all need to realize. To begin with, why does something like the human cognition exist as another substantial world? The reason for that is most likely sleeping within mementos. We'll be destroying that, you know. I don't see where you're going with this. The human cognition will lose substance, so you can't sneak into people's palaces anymore. So if other criminals appear, you won't be able to steal their treasure and change their hearts. That seems kind of fair. It's kind of capstoning our entire story off, so there's nothing more we can do afterwards. Um, I have not looked into a single thing about Royal. Uh, Royal is supposed to come out in March, and I don't feel like going through an entire another year of the game, especially in that short amount of time, so I'm probably not going to be playing Royal. Maybe, like, voicing my opinions on it, like, in, like, another video? But I probably wouldn't play through the whole game. Maybe. Maybe after a while. But 
not like days after it's supposed to come out. But it does look like most of its content is going to be afterwards. Or at least um, the the other game that's coming out, um, I forget what it's called, is a direct sequel to the first version of the game, which will be interesting. So I'm going to look into that, maybe play a little bit of it, but yeah. Uh, I, I just find a kind of interesting moment in his dialogue to kind of bring that up. It means the Phantom Thieves will be going out of business. We'll have to discard this way of life. <sighs> I think we need to do this. I mean, we're the group who's reforming society, right? What do you think? As our leader, you lose your powers if Mementos is erased. Will you still do it? We're like 98% of the way for completing the... Uh, completing the compendium. We only need about like three more personas. Eh. We got it for justice. You guys have all grown, huh? All right. It seems there are no objections. Did you come up with a plan? Okay, they actually like acknowledge the fact that she didn't hear any of it. Whether it succeeds or not is another story, though. Miss Prosecutor, looks like this is gonna be our last job. Last job? We're erasing the metaverse. Once we accomplish our duty, we entrust the world to respectful adults. That is our condition for accepting this job. This is a deal, then. That's certainly a heavy condition. But very well, I accept. I swear to make Masayo Shishido stand and be tried in the court of law. Besides, my pride won't allow me to be continually saved by you all without doing anything in return. We'll be counting on you. Looks like it's decided, then. You're the leader, and this is officially our last mission. Come on, say something. I would, but they didn't give my voice actor enough things to say. Let's fix this country. We already said that before, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. We're doing it for real this time, after all. We don't have much time, right? We should carry this out tomorrow. I'm counting on you guys. No matter what happens, you better see it through. Okay. Um, as I've alluded to before, tomorrow's the last day. Well, technically not the last day. But... Uh, tomorrow, Christmas Eve, is the last day of the game. But, technically, it's two dungeon days, because it extends into midnight and into the dawn in the morning. So, technically, the final boss will be defeated on Christmas Day with a follow-up episode talking about everything that happens afterwards. Um, after that's end done. So... Uh, probably the 26th or 27th. Well, the 26th will probably be uh, post-Final Boss. 27th will be New Game stuff. And probably the 28th will be like my overall thoughts of the game. So just like laying this all out right now. So it's not really a surprise when everything comes out. <laughs> Days until rearrest. Phew. I'll just add this. Man, sometimes I love this game. Okay. So we have uh we have max level Shido's final boss. Uh, the day after in Mementos. 
Actually, I probably should just cover up with tomorrow right before I go into it. Christmas Eve is just around the corner. You can just feel the excitement in the air. Streets are full of people and illuminated by colored lighting. Couples are out with their children can be seen shopping for presents. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, huh? The only present I want is for our plan to succeed. We'll be looking forward to it. This is our last heist. We spent so much time together, but it went by in a flash. It's okay, dude. get too many things to decorate the room with and I feel like that was a thing that kind of stung and I feel like we could have done better yeah uh let's just say if I was to replay this section all the way to the end like new game plus go all the way back to the end of the game I would probably fill this up with stuff I would get every item and since I'm at max level and since I'm basically have the compendium all done that'd be it I would basically have 100% one of the things that I actually kind of feel kind of bad about is yeah I read all the books yeah I read all of it but there's no achievement to getting all the stuff on the shelves and I feel like it, instead of you know what am I currently at what's that's 412 like Ryuji have like the most health because he does so much physical attack um but like i passed him like <laughs> days ago and i'm just sitting here with like a massive amount of sp because i need all that stuff also why does futaba even have sp now that i think about it huh okay well Good night, everybody. Hey. Going to bed early? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Hey. Hmm. Actually, never mind. You must be tired. Well, I'm currently up at six in the morning recording videos, so not kind of. Honestly, you're amazing. There's definitely something special about you. You dodge everything the enemies throw at you like it's your destiny. At first, I just thought you were going to be a useful tool for me. But now, this is where I belong. We'll stay here forever then. Aren't you only going to be here for a year? Well, I can take you with me. Still, it makes me happy to hear that. It's not like me to say all that embarrassing stuff. But still, I think it's fine. For tonight, at least. Oh, right. <laughs> Magician, yeah. All right. All right. Morgana's persona Zoro has transformed into Mercu um, Mercu Mercurius. Mercur Mer Mercury. Got it. Evade electricity. Nah. Not good enough. We should rest in preparation for tomorrow. Well, I should. I'm going to keep recording. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. He's repelled such an ordeal, and this guy's still not being rewarded for it? If gods really do exist, they're being too hard on him.
Okay, what the heck, Yor? I'm trying to sleep here. I'm trying to end the episode, but you won't let me. <laughs> that was a fruitless delight, inmate. What? We gave you words of praise, but we take them all back. What? Why are you getting upset at me? The source of what was hindering your rehabilitation. To think it would be the ignorant masses to which you tried to prove your integrity. Did they themselves not show elation for those who are unseen? Despite all that, they now say you do not exist. They toyed with you, yet none take responsibility. The distortion of man's world is endlessly deep. Fixing it may now be impossible, even with the appearance of a trickster. M master it seems this is the limit of humanity. Hey, don't get up us give up on us yet. The time of ruin is nigh. One due to the distortion of man's own heart from which none can escape. 